we synthesize 70 hydrocholesterol, 70 HC in the skin. The sun converts into vitamin D. But the problem is when we get old, we don't produce the oil in the skin. Very old people yeah. are always deficient of vitamin D. It's inevitable because they've got dry skin. The skin is not producing adequate amounts of 7-DHC. And therefore, it doesn't matter how long they sit in the sun, they're not going to have adequate amounts of vitamin D. Is when the... we give them a supplement, they just need a normal supplement, a normal dose. Elderly people, people with pigmented skins, dark skins, all require the same amount of vitamin D as a supplement. But obese people require additional, they require more. But the amount required depends not on age or skin colour, it depends on body weight, effectively. Yeah, got it. And of course it's fat soluble, so if people had a lot of adiposity, a lot of fat cells, yeah, yeah. The, the vitamin D would simply yeah. ju just diffuse into those cells. That's, that's yeah. simple physics, isn't it? And it it would, is indeed. It would hide away and it's not there to be used. It comes from your skin, that's the vitamin D3. Yeah. What well, comes from a tablet, that's the D3, that goes to the liver. Yeah. How long does that activation process take? Several days, should we say. Up to perhaps a month before the high blood levels are achieved, before full conversion has taken place. Mm. It's a slow process. There's no reason for it to be fast, yeah. because ideally we're producing vitamin D every day. So it's just a daily top-up. So you keep putting so, it one end of the pipeline, keeps coming out the other. Yeah. <laughs> if we're taking three or four thousand units of vitamin D a yeah, day, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the blood levels are the same, yeah. that means we are consuming three, three or four thousand units per day. Yeah. We require that to keep us fit and healthy. If we are very deficient in vitamin D, and we take a, sudden, a single large dose of, say, 20,000 units, which is, generally speaking, a week's, or a week's supply, it'll take a week for the blood level to, to, come, to, up. to come up to an ideal level. And that takes us into the storage form. Yeah, it, it does, yeah. The, the, the calcifidiol. Abs absolutely. S storage form. The storage, and the storage is not in the fat cells. The storage is actually in the blood itself. So it's just ready to go when we need yeah, it. Yeah, ready to go. It's circulating, ready for action, in contact with all the cells of the body. So when they're triggered, there's an infection taking place, they pick up more and more vitamin D from the blood, and then they, um, they, then they reprocess it and reactivate it, for, ready for action. How long does it take the cells to get the vitamin D working? from taking it from, from the blood? It's more or less instantaneous. Right, so it's, it's a week or so to get the vitamin D through the liver. Yeah, yeah. But once it's in the blood, it's bang and it, it's there. Yeah, it is indeed. Right. Now, if we, if we take it by mouth as a supplement, yeah, and, and from the skin, it's got to yeah. go through the liver. And that's the slow process. Which takes time, yeah. And if we're very deficient, but seriously ill, it's going to be a week or so before we get the vitamin D that we need into the immune system. And we just get this all the time. Every shift on A&E, you'll get several patients in with sepsis, yeah, yeah. respiratory sepsis, yeah. urinary sepsis, or if not sepsis, severe infections. Yeah. So there's no point giving them high doses of vitamin D as soon as they come in. No, the high dose side doesn't work. It, the, the, the high dose doesn't get acti action any quicker. It's got to go through the liver. That's the holdup.